Each day when I wake up and I roll out of my bed And I climb up to the window and I lean against the ledge Brush off all the sleepy dreams and haze that cloud my eyes Then I gaze down on my garden and I see to my surprise A turning, twisting, winding, climbing flower green leaves that reach up towards the sky. I know one day when the time is right and nature's work is done, I'll have snow peas in my garden glistening in the new spring sun. Thought, I thought actually the song was about snow peas, you know, that you get in Chinese food. Oh. So that's why I wrote the lyric about the garden. Okay. And uh, when I decided to record it, I uh, contacted Phil Markowitz, the writer, and he uh, told me that it was actually um, titled, There's No Peas, Snow Peas Today, no. oh. because he was walking down the street in New York and he saw a sign in a window. I think it was a Chinese restaurant that said snow peas. So he titled it snow peas. So um, he loved the idea. He loved the lyric because he's an avid organic gardener. So it was great. It worked out.
the story a long time ago about something that we all ought to know. We all ought to know. It's the story about something that we all ought to know. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's the music was born of the blues. And don't you know that it's here to stay? We all know it will. It's the music was born here in the USA. Uh, children's theater when I was young mm -hmm. and my mother loved Frank Sinatra oh. so I heard a lot of Frank Sinatra oh, Andy Williams Dean Martin Doris Day uh, when I was growing up and then Did you like those voices? Those oh yeah I, lo I loved Frank Sinatra also yeah and um, you know we're t you know I was 12 years old so then I started to sing in a band locally and um, the, the guitar player, my boyfriend, um, turned me on to jazz. I've, you know, of course I had heard Ella and Sarah, but we used to listen to Miles Davis and John Coltrane and Sun Ra and all these people, Flora Perim and Ayerto and all that stuff was happening then. Um, I listened to Norma Winston. She was in a group called Azimuth and it was on the ECM record label. And I loved that stuff because it was something different. It really? wasn't the standards. And I had been listening to Joni Mitchell. You know, Beautiful. I grew up listening to Frank Sinatra in the house. But when these people came out, Joni Mitchell, James Taylor, Carole King, they were writing songs and they were singing their own songs. It wasn't a singer singing a composer's song. Right, right. It was a singer, songwriter doing their own song talking about their own life. So um, that's what attracted, so I got onto that, you know, and then when I started to hear, listen to um, Ursula Dudziak, Norma Winston, Sheila Jordan, Flora Perim, it was something new, you know, it was current. And so that's the kind of music that I really, that really got me into it.
I, you know, one time I wrote lyrics to a uh, uh, Horace Silver tune called Love Vibrations, and uh, I was going to record that too. So I called up Harry Fox to find out who the publisher was. I got the number. It was California. I dialed. I, you know, somebody picked up and answered, and I said, Hi, my name is Chris Adams. I wrote lyrics to this song, uh, Love Vibrations, and I want to record it. And on the other end of the phone, there was this voice said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I don't want no singer writing lyrics to my tunes. Oh, no. And it was Horace Silver. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Did yeah. So I, you know, I said, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't know. And he said he wrote lyrics, and he wanted to know if I wanted them. So I said, sure, you know. So he sent me his copy, and actually he sent me two of them. This was, I think, early 90s. And uh, I read them, but they weren't any better than mine. I actually liked mine better. So <laughs> I didn't record it. I never recorded it. Never recorded Never. It. Hey, yeah. That, but that's your inspiration. Then you hear these jazz standards. Are they usually yep. jazz? And you're hearing you know, uh, uh, instrumental jazz, and you're hearing words. Uh, uh, yeah, out of so, that. you know, it, well, it's sometimes so, it's, it's not so easy. Like, like Snow Peas yeah. was pretty easy. Talk about Snow Peas. I mean, Peas a I, bit it's a con just... yeah, it's a complex melody, very complex. It's not easy to sing. Um, and that one line that goes up in the bridge, a turning, twisting, winding, climbing, you know, that, that was difficult to write, um, to finish that line. And, and actually, uh, Steve H Prosser, my husband, finished it with the, a bower flowing, um, oh, really? which, you know, um, rhymed with the next lyric. So it worked out great.
Well, with Wrong Together, which is a song by Steve Swallow, he wrote the song. Oh, yeah. I and I heard it, that, the ballad that we did. More specifically. Yeah, so um, Wrong Together, that ballad. Um, that a, a, sounds very sad. Yeah, so my have. sister was going through a divorce at the time. So I just, you know, used the title and, you know, imagined what was going on and, and wrote the lyric. To the window and I lean a 
against the ledge. Brush off all the sleepy dreams and haze that cloud my eyes. Then I gaze down on my garden and I see to my surprise a turning, twisting, winding, climbing flower flowing, small white flower showing, and the green leaves that reach up towards the sky. I know one day when the time is right and nature's work is done, I'll have snow.